Hey guys, it's Kim F. KeepItMovingFitness.com. Today I'm going to show you a cardio workout that also sculpts and tone your legs. There are six moves in this workout, and in between each of the moves, we'll do 30 seconds of three different cardio moves. I'm going to show you what I mean. All you're going to need is a chair and maybe some weights if you want for more resistance. So we're going to start off with a lateral lunge, and then we're going to kick to the side. So I want you to come down and lunge to the left or right with your knees behind your toes. Kind of with a 90 degree angle with your leg that's bent. You're going to press off that leg and kick out to the side. One, two, three, four. We're going to go 20 reps. Five. Six, really press off, lunge as far as you can, seven, and as low as you can, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, kick high as you can, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And then you're going to do the same thing, but on the other side. You're going to launch to the other side, sticking your butt back, knees behind your toes, pressing off your leg with your hands, and kick one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. In between each round, we'll do a different um, cardio move just so we can burn more calories while we sculpt our legs. So for this round, we'll do simulation jump ropes for 30 seconds. The next round we'll do um, jump kicks, and then the third round we'll do straight arm jumping jacks. Ready? 30 seconds on the clock. Pretend like you have a jump rope. Land softly, stay in control of your breath. Always contract your abs, keep moving. 30 seconds. Really feeling it. Slight bend in your knees. Nice. So now we're going to bring the chair into play. You need one chair. And what you're going to do is just come into a lunge in front of the chair. Let me move the puppy. One foot on the chair, the other foot stepped out way in front of you, and you're just going to lunge. If you have weight, you can use your weights here, keeping your core engaged. Two. Make sure your knee, you're stepped out further enough so that your knee stays behind your toe when you lunge. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19 and 20. You should feel that in your quads and your glutes. For muscle balance, we're gonna make sure we do the other side. Stepping out far in front of the leg on the chair. 20 lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel the burn in your quads. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job. In between the next round, we're going to do 30 seconds of stimulation jump rope again. Ready? Go. Make sure you're landing soft here. You should barely hear your land. Always stay in control. Good job. Move number three. I'm going to keep the chair in play. You're going to bend your leg. Lift one leg and bend it. If you have a rubber ball at home or maybe a pillow or something, you can put it in between your leg right here to try to squeeze and hold on to it for even more resistance. So what you're gonna do is drag your knee up, tap the chair, and back to the top. Kind of pose at the top. That was one. Here's two, three. Well, you're barely holding on to the chair. Four, five. Really squeezing your butt. You feel it right in your butt. Six, seven. Keep your foot. Flex, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, squeeze it, fourteen, get it all the way as far back as you can behind you, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, good job, 19, and 20. We're going to do the other side, of course. Turn the chair around, leg up, knee bent, and twist it out in front, to the side in front of you. And then all the way back and up. That was one. Two. Three. Try to keep your hips squared. Four. You don't want to be leaning too far. Keep them upright and squared. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, squeeze that butt, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job. We got 30 seconds stimulation jump ropes again. Set. Go.
Nice. Move number four. You gotta barely hold on to the chair with your fingertips. We got our feet in plie position here as if we're a ballet. We're gonna come out into a squat. We're gonna bring our knees outward into a squat. Halfway down and back up. One, two, three. Coming on your tippy toes for more is resistance. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 and 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30 seconds, jumping up and down. Breathing in through your nose, always, and out through your mouth. Move number five. We're going to do a squat curtsy, like the English squat curtsy, here. And then we're going to bring our leg up and in front of us. 20 on each side. Hold on for balance if you have to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should feel it right on the side. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Ignore that. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, this really burns, <laughs> 17, 18, 19, and 20. I felt it when we were on the opposite leg. So now we're going to switch legs. Come to a curtsy. One, kick over. Two, stay in control of your breath. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna try to speed it up here. Eleven, go at your own pace. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19 and 20. Good job. 30 seconds. Stimulation. Jump rope. If you have a real jump rope, you can use that one too. Really get your arms into it. What's my dog doing? <laughs> Last move, number six. You can still use the chair if you need to hold on for balance. But what we're gonna do is to come to a squat and kick back. Really with your feet pointing forward, your abs engaged. Should be like resistance there. Sitting as if you were sitting in the chair, you're gonna squat and kick back. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Keep your back up. Fourteen. Butt back. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Other side. Use the chair again if you have to. I think I'm going to do it without the chair. Squat back. One. Whoops. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20 and 30 seconds jump rope set go That was round one. You're going to do the same exact thing two more times. The only difference is you're going to switch up the cardio moves that you did in between. This time we did simulation jump ropes. For round two, I really want you to do 30 seconds of jump kicks in between each round. Jump kicks, if you can't jump, you can simply kick as fast as you can. But if you can jump, jump like this for 30 seconds. And for round three, I want you to take your arm like this, jump up, straight arm jumping jacks in between each other moves. Remember, there are six moves, and in between each move, you're going to do 30 seconds of cardio. So I want you to pause, take a two minute break, grab some water if you have to, and do round two with the jump kicks, and then round three with the straight arm jacks. So that's the workout. It really, really works the muscles of your legs. If you need more intensity, just grab a dumbbell and use it while you're working out. The key is to land softly and keep your knees behind your toes at all times. Hope you guys like this workout. Remember, go on Instagram, Kim underscore fitness, and hashtag Kim Fitness or Kim F. Send me pictures of your workout and your food of the day. And I will reply and post it on my website. www.keepmovingfitness.com Love you guys.
Thank you. Bye.